Don't worry about what you see on Instagram and TikTok and all that. You don't need that much foundation. Hi, gorgeous, beautiful queen. Today's video is how much foundation you need to put on your face. Whether or not you have acne, whether or not you want full coverage, whatever the case is, I'm going to be telling you the exact amount you need to apply your whole face. Your whole beautiful little face. Okay, let's go. So today I'm going to be using one of my favorite little... I love this so much. I purchased this at CVS, I believe. I don't have the sticker, but I'm pretty sure it was CVS in New York. Yeah, I'm so excited to go back. But anyways, I purchased this. It is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup Titanium Dioxide Sunscreen. So it does have sunscreen. It only has SPF 17, which is better than nothing. I'm sorry, but it's true. And this is in warm Oh no, it's in sun beige. Oh my god, this whole time I thought it was sun beige. Warm beige. Sun beige. Sun beige. W6. Sun beige. Not warm beige. Don't worry about that. So this is the foundation bottle that I'm going to use. You can use any foundation you like. This is just such an amazing foundation. I believe it retails for $11 to $20 in Australia. You can get it on iHub. I'll have everything listed down below. If you're getting it from CVS, I'm not sure how much it will be. I have four bottles of this two of them are finished which is so sad this one is almost finished but i am i am using it today to show you how much the only thing i don't like about this is that it doesn't have a pump and you really have to just all right it's coming <gasps> yay all right, look at how much is on my hand. I put, don't worry about this one. This is how much you need. Whether or not you are doing your underpainting, whether or not you want a full coverage, trust me, trust me. Less is more when it comes to foundation. Here's the thing. Foundation is meant to genuinely just give you an even base. Concealer is what makes it more full coverage. We can go in depth more about concealer in another video because there are two different types of, three actually different types of concealers. One, to conceal your dark circles. Two, to actually just give you an overall complexion for your under eyes. And three, to spot conceal. And that is a completely different concealer to your face concealer, your eye concealer. I, there's concealers I have that I would never use under my eye because they're way too thick. But let me know if you want a video on that because that's too much to go in depth right now. But I will definitely do that if you want it, sugar plum. So there are also different brushes for your foundation. I'm just gonna go over these very quickly. This is the brush I usually use, this one and this one, depending on the vibe I'm getting. If I want something a bit more full coverage, I just clean this. Oh, it's so good, I have a video up here how to clean your brushes, look at that, beautiful. Um, oh, it smells divine. So I usually use this if I want something a bit more just plastered on my skin, a bit more dense. This one, if I just want to go around and buff, I use this as well. It broke. It's really sad to see because makes brush. Very sad. This is if you want something super full coverage. I use this. I don't really use this for foundation, but if you do want something really full coverage, this is more the streaks, the strokes, whatever. The only thing is when you go in with the strokes, I would recommend rubbing the excess off and then just patting that in. You can't just use this brush, in my opinion. You always need either this brush or this brush to buff it in. So that's just to apply it. These two are my go-tos. And then if you want something very light, full, like very light, just kind of a smear, BB cream kind of vibe, this is the brush I would recommend. This is the crown brush, I believe, and it's a stippling brush. This is what I definitely use on my clients most of the time because they usually just want something airbrushed and that is this brush. For today though, I am using this brush. If you want me to see, if you want to see how I use the stippling brush and how I kind of just make it look like skin, leave me a comment down below and I will do that. This, you can do that as well. Remember, a little bit goes such a long way. You don't need a lot, okay? Let me zoom you in. So just remember, a little bit goes a long way. You don't need a lot of product. Even if you have acne blemish skin, my sister has a lot of acne scarring and acne and I never use a lot of product on her. I use my spot concealer. So we're gonna only go in, I wanna show you this section. So this is 
the smaller amount up here. This is the backup, but this is way too much. This is what we're gonna use, okay? So what I do is, I'm just trying to, I just dip it in, just like that. See, the slightest amount. Now what I'm gonna do is I always start in this section. Why? I have the most to cover up. It really just depends. I have some blemishes there, so I always just put a little bit there. Then I still have product in here. So I'm gonna just start by pushing that in my skin. See, it's really only on the top. And then I always, cause this foundation as well, foundation is meant to move, right? Only when you're applying it. So just remember that a little bit goes a long way with your foundation. It's not meant to just stay. Okay. I'm just pushing that in my skin. Now, I'm going to go in because with a bit of this section, it really is, it looks much thicker than it is. It just is stapled along. So then I, I'm just going to, See, that applied way too much. So this section is gonna cover this whole side. I like to do stamping motions and then I really just kind of lightly flick. Here's the trick. Depending on if you've got a lot of acne on your forehead, then I will tell you what to do in a second. But if you don't, whatever's left on your brush, really just go in on your forehead. So my forehead usually has, out of like 10%, probably 3% of makeup or foundation because it doesn't necessarily need it. And then I just kind of keep going back in to push that product in. And this is gonna really accentuate my Beautiful dark circles, but that's okay. A little tip when you're putting your foundation on, if your hair's up like me, go on your ears. Especially if you get red ears, it's gonna look crazy, and then don't forget to blend it down. I would probably use a bit more foundation for my neck, but the slightest amount. And look, there's still like that residue on the back of my hand, so I just usually just go in whatever's left. I just blend it down. If you do have acne on your forehead, I would recommend putting a little bit more product and then just blending that in to your forehead. Make sure when you blend it in, I like to push my hair back and really just push it in. You don't want to look like you are wearing a mask, but you don't also want product on it. So that's why I always wait till the product is gone from my brush and I push it in. So that way it doesn't look so weird and you don't end up getting product if you do get product don't worry you can get a baby wipe and just wipe that all off let me just put concealer on because i feel really weird i'll be right back okay so this is how my skin looks with the foundation i only just put a bit of concealer under there because it was looking a bit crazy so in over overall you don't need a lot of foundation a little pea size probably about that much if you, that's probably even a bit too much, that much. Start where your most problematic areas are. I like to call it like a triangle from my nose down. So this section and then I blend it back. You don't wanna, you can dot it if you want. I don't personally like to dot because sometimes I put too much, sometimes it's gonna laugh. It's just going back and forth. Especially if you're in a rush, you don't need it. You can spot conceal if you still see any blemishes. We can go in another video with that. But your foundation is meant to be a very light barrier of everything that's gonna be in your face. Cause really, this is just the first layer. You're gonna be putting another four, five, six layers on, you know, whatever. So you don't need a lot. You don't ever really necessarily need that much foundation. If you have like pretty decent skin, you can get away with just concealer. Even if you do have blemishes, you can only use concealer and powder and your skin will still look amazing. I also will leave in the description down below my free cheat sheet about how to enhance your beauty with foundation and only with concealer. Even if you have acne and blemishes and all that, I really go in depth with it. It's just something free to help you beautiful queens out there to look and feel your best 
all the time very easily something simple like this you don't necessarily need foundation you can go use just concealer but if you do want to use foundation i would really recommend this small amount don't worry about what you see on instagram and tiktok and all that you don't need that much foundation if you want to go for it but if you're actually going to go out all day i would recommend this because it's going to last all day all night it's not going to look cakey it's not going to crease nearly as much nowhere near right if at all and i have smile lines and they don't crease when i use foundation like this so I don't know how much more I can move my head. Anyways, you gorgeous little queen. If this video has helped you, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what you want to see next. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, gorgeous.